It's not that I don't like Final Cut Pro X. I just don't really like it. Today's the day. I'm getting some karma. That's disappointing. I have to wait another two weeks. Ah, I wonder if Sammy has, has any. Do you by any chance have any GoPro Karmas in stock? Guess what? I'm back in a car. And off to another gig. What kind of software do you need to know if you want to work as an editor in Hollywood? Hollywood specific because it changes kind of per region. One heated debate that I see talked about quite a bit is what is the best editing application? Well, I'm under the assumption that the best one is the one that you have because you're actually able to do something with the editing application that you actually have. Another question might be what editing application is being used in Hollywood and what are people hiring for? That might be a more important topic to talk about. There was a time when the dominant editing application in mainstream Hollywood, Los Angeles area, was Avid. Then along came this program called Final Cut, and that started to really take a hold on the industry. People started using that one far more, and it became Final Cut and Avid. Avid started to lose ground, and then Premiere tried to push their way in, but the only people that were using Premiere were more ad agencies or effects companies that could jump in between After Effects and Photoshop easily. But it wasn't much of a program that was used for TV shows or films just because it was so hard to get stuff out of the program. Since then, this update was released to Final Cut X. Now when Final Cut X hit, production companies full on dropped Final Cut altogether and moved to Avid, or they switched over to Adobe Premiere. Now, in Hollywood, Los Angeles, you are most likely to get jobs with one of two programs. Avid, if you want to work in television or reality TV, and Premiere which seems to be falling more into the documentary style and especially ad world. In the past five years, four years since Final Cut X was released, I have seen probably a total of six job postings for companies editing on Final Cut X in Los Angeles. Now that number is slowly increasing. If you could only learn one program and you needed to get work in Los Angeles, working in Hollywood, you should learn either Avid Media Composer or Adobe Premiere. Those are the two most used applications in the entire LA industry. I keep going to the wrong floor to get my car. Whoops. So, having worked on this commercial so exclusively in Final Cut Pro, it is... Oh, lens flare. Exclusively in Final Cut Pro, I've learned a few things that, you know, I just don't like. And the main thing that you need to learn or know whenever using any sort of editor is can you achieve the operations you want as quickly as possible? For me, not so much in FCP X. It's not that I don't like Final Cut Pro X. I just don't really like it. Don't get me wrong, Final Cut has some really, really cool features on it. But, but thinking behind it, it's fundamentally flawed. 
Look at that sky.